Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by three different ways. By quadratic formula, by factoring, and by completing the square. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that the leading coefficient of this quadratic equation is other than one. So now, at first, we're going to start uh, solving this one by quadratic formula. So here is the quadratic formula that we will be using. And here are the our coefficient values. A is simply 10 right up here. I put down B is positive 13 and C is negative 3. So let's go ahead and start plugging in in this quadratic formula. So this is going to become x equal to minus b is 13 plus or minus b square, which is 13 square minus 4 times a is 10 and c is negative 3. Everything is divided by 2 times 10. So far so good. So the next what we're going to do is negative 13 plus or minus 13 square is for sure 169. And when you do this one, that is going to be plus 120 divided by 2 times 10 is 20. So the next what we're going to do is negative 13 plus or minus when you add these two numbers that adds up to 289 divided by 20. So the next thing what we're going to do is negative 13 plus or minus square root of 289 is simply 17 divided by 20. So the next thing what we're going to do is I want you to split these numbers up along these positive and negative signs. So the first one is going to be negative 13 plus 17 divided by 20. And the other side I'm going to do negative 13 minus 17 divided by 20. So now let's go ahead and simplify it. So that is going to give you 4 over 20. And on this side, that's going to be a negative 30 over 20. I want you to reduce them. So x turns out to be 1 fifth. That is our one of the solutions. And our other solution, if you reduce this thing, that is going to be a negative 3 over 2 is another solution. Hence, our solution set is simply negative 3 over 2 and 1 fifth. Now, in the next step, we want to solve this quadratic equation by this factoring technique. So now you have to be really careful. Our leading coefficient is 10. So how are we going to find the factors? Let me show you an easy way that you can do. Of course, if you are if you have a good idea, you can do it right away. But I can show you a really simple kind of trick. I want you to put down 10x square plus 13x minus 3. Then what I want you to do is I want you to just put down this part, whatever, 10x over here, right here. I want you to put down 10x in parentheses and then 10x over here as well. So far so good. Don't worry about this, the exponent, only this one. The next, I want you to multiply these two numbers, the end numbers, 10 and 3. Don't worry about this negative sign. So 10 times 3 is 30, isn't it? Now, how are you going to multiply? How are you going to do this one? Uh, what are the possible factors that for 30 that could give you 13? 
isn't it? That's going to be 2 and 15, isn't it? Give you 30. If you multiply them, it's going to give you 30. And if you subtract them, it's going to give you 13. So since this is a positive 13, so that means this positive 15 and negative 2. So now I want you to go ahead and put down these numbers. Negative 2 right up here and positive 15 right up here. The next thing, we are not finished yet. I want you to look at the first parentheses. What is the GCF, the greatest com common factor? So GCF for this, the, the biggest number that can divide into these two, 10 and 2 has, I want you to divide it by 2 right up here because 2 is the biggest number that divides into both of them. Likewise, what is going to be the greatest common factor for this one that could go into this one, the biggest number, 10 and 15, of course, that's going to be 5, isn't it? Go ahead and divide them now up, and then you're going to get your answer. So once you divide it, that's going to become 5x minus 1, and here this become 2x plus three. So these are your factors for this quadratic equation. So the next step, what I did it, whatever I got uh, my factors over here, I just put it down over here and set it equal to zero. So they just went over here. Now the next step I want you to do is, I want you to split them up and set it equal to zero. 5x minus one equal to zero. The other one is going to be 2x plus 3 equal to 0. That means I want you to bring 1 on this side. So this become 5x equal to negative 1 become positive 1 divided by 5. So x turns out to be 1 over 5. That is one of our solution right up here. I want you to bring this positive 3 on the other side becomes negative 3 and then I want you to divide both sides by 2 so x turns out to be negative 3 over 2 that is another solution thus our solution set turns out to be a negative 3 over 2 and 1 fifth and finally we want to solve this quadratic equation by this technique called completing the square method. So the very first thing I want you to make sure only x variables must be on the left hand side. That means this negative 3 should go on the other side. So we ended up with 10x squared plus 13x. Then when you move this negative 3 on the other side become positive 3. So that's the very first step. The second step, I want to make sure that our leading coefficient must be 1. How are we going to make this one 1? By dividing all the way across the board by 10, by 10, and by 10. Okay? So this 10 over 10 we could become simply 1. So we got x squared plus 13 over 10x equals to 3 over 10. So far so good. Now the next step I want to make sure just look at over here. I want you to just look at this the coefficient of x. Don't worry about this sign only this one. I want you to just put it down over here. 13 over 10. I want you to divide this one by 2 always divided by 2 isn't it dividing by 2 is same as putting 2 over 1 now i want you to just simply write this one as so 13 over 2 10 is same and if you switch this one this division to multiplication then you must flip this one over so these gonna go the other way around so that's gonna become reciprocal 1 over 2 so that means that's gonna be simply 13 over 
20. So far so good. So I want you to simply, next thing I want you to do is, whatever you got this number, I want you to square it. So this is what we will be doing. We will be adding this number on both sides. So I want you to just go ahead and write it down. X squared plus 13 over 10 X plus and then plus 3 over 10 plus. I want you to now add this whatever we got this one on both sides. So I'm going to write down 13 over 20 square on this side and 13 over 20 square on this side as well. Now I want you to focus on the left hand side this this part right here this box this represents a complete square and that's going to be simply x plus 13 over 20 square that means this x showed up over here this part 13 over 20 inside this parenthesis is this one and whatever this sign this is right up here just keep in your mind and then equals to we got 3 over 10 plus uh, 13 over 20 squared is 169 over 400 now the next thing what we're going to do is we want to add these two fractions let me show you an easy way to add these two fractions let me just put it down on this side 3 over 10 plus 169 over 400 i want you to multiply crisscross multiplication you multiply this way and you multiply this way and now you can see what happens 3 times 400 is going to give you 1200 and whatever this sign in the middle put down plus and the other way when you multiply this 169 times 10 become 1690 divided by this 10 times 400 you multiply them so that's going to become 4000 and on this one over here 1200 and 1690 is going to give you 2890 divided by 4000 and you can see that one of the zero crosses out so simply we got 289 over 400 so we're going to go ahead and write it down this one right up here 289 divided by 400 and this side is simply x plus 13 over 20 square now we want to get rid of this square so we can take the square root on both sides take the square root on both sides this square and square root they undo each other we got x plus 13 over 20 and over here this simply become positive or negative the square root of 289 is 17 and the square root of 400 is 20. now what i want you next is i want you to move this 13 over 20 on the other side because we want to isolate x so once you do this thing that's going to give you simply this positive 13 over 20 become negative 13 over 20 and then plus or minus 17 over 20. now we're going to split them up how are we going to split it we're going to say split it along these two signs positive and negative so the one the first is going to be negative 13 over 20 plus 17 over 20 and the next one is going to be negative 13 over 20 minus 17 over 20. here we have 20 is our common denominator 13 negative 13 plus 17 that's going to give you 4 over 20 
So x equals to 1 fifth is one of our solutions. And the next is going to be over here again. 20 is our common denominator, negative 13 and minus 17 is going to give you negative 30 over 20. That's going to reduce to negative 3 over 2. So x equal to negative 3 over 2 is another solution. Thus our solution set is simply negative 3 over 2 and 1 fifth. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.